that's right. Okay. This is the August 2nd appointment subcommittee meeting, 5.30. Uh, we're all here. I don't think we have any uh, minutes to approve. We haven't had anything. No, we haven't. Yeah, nope. for a while. Um, is there anyone here for public speak time for anything not on the agenda? No. Okay, we have uh, two mayoral appointments to consider tonight. Uh, the first one is for Rachel Phillips for the ECA Grants Committee with a term expiration of December 31st, 2019. So I was looking through Rachel's application and I didn't have too much information about her qualifications, more just about her enthusiasm for the position. So I didn't have a, what is that called, a resume attached to her application. but. She has already been involved with ECA and is enjoying it, and I have certainly not received any correspondence um, negatively about Rachel Phillips. So I wanted to open up the floor for questions or comments about her as a candidate. Yeah, it does seem like it's a transition from the ECA to the grants for the people who are interested, and I think the fact that she's been on there nine months, she's probably understanding the process, so it sounds like it's a a reasonable transition to move back to the grant committee. So. Uh, I gleaned a little bit of information where it, uh, the questions asked where she learned of the vacancy and the ECA coordinating committee told her of it. Mm -hmm. So I would venture the guess that they would not have told her about the vacancy if they felt that she wouldn't okay, be able to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. to perform um, as that committee person, so um, I mean, if we have any more questions, I'm sure the mayor has had a discussion with her and has yeah. done her her vetting out. So, so I'll, well, I'll with that, I'll make the motion that we appoint Rachel Phillips to the position of the ECA Grants Committee with her term of expiration of December 31st, 2019. I'll second that. Okay, the motion on the second on the table. Um, all in favor for Rachel Phillips for the position of ECA Grants Committee, term expiration December 31st, 2019. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. No, no days, no extensions. Mm -hmm. And the next one is for Amy Marsters for the National Monic Pond Committee uh, with term expiration December 31st, 2019. One of the things that they found really neat about Amy's um, application is that she has a lot of experience working in in water recreation retail and just knowing that Nashawanic Pond is starting to expand into more water sports and stuff I think it's great that someone with that particular expertise would be interested in it and it seems to be very timely. Yep. I was impressed with master's degree in leisure and environmental resource administration. Mm -hmm. I would love to see her go on the parks. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I Eventually. Had, yeah, and okay. I guess the, <laughs> the thing with that, with the pond, I think as, as we have a boat launch and we have more people actively being on the pond, that's something I haven't really considered. Like, what's the maximum capacity of the pond? Yeah, yeah. it's definitely something that and of course the pond is managed by the park and rec department so right. well the boardwalk is the pond i think is still owned <laughs> by the city but yeah no i i think that i think that obviously her her education and um background certainly fits being on the pond steering committee absolutely mm -hmm. so i'll make a motion that we appoint amy marsters to oh. that's to the national one one pond steering committee. Okay. Uh, motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 No name, no abstention. Hey, we don't have anything else on our agenda, so I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Well, we missed it. Good <laughs> <laughs> yeah. job. Sorry. Oh, no, you know what, though? I had to get my little my coffee, so. Um, we close the meeting, so. It just, um,